hey man, um, about today, thanks for doing what you did. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, I might get kicked out of peace ambassadors because of it. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to be all about peace and there I am punching some guy. <laughs> you saw a look on Lisa's face. Dude, there's lots of Lisa's in the world. Okay, there aren't. Man, I just hope I didn't mess this up. So, I heard back from the Faulkner's camp. Pilot Widow's not giving interviews to anyone right now. Especially not the guy who interviews Anna. I'll take that as a challenge. Mr. Decker. I'm Special Agent Malik with the FBI, the task force. Chad Decker. I need to talk to you about something. Okay. <laughs> Am I in some kind of trouble? It's not about you. It's about the task force. We came across this photo in our investigation. That's Marcus. With a known domestic terrorist. It's from over six months ago. If it is authentic, this alone should have derailed relations with the visitors. So you're, you're suggesting that somebody buried this information? I was ordered to bury it. Why was that? You've had closer contact with the visitors than anyone. And you're a reporter. You tell me. Do all your access points have keypads? Yes. Visitors only be on this point. At least till today. Well, you sound a bit irritated, Steve. Steven. It's upsetting to have such a wonderful day marred by humanity. Drop me off. He didn't stay? He wanted to, but he thinks you're mad at him. You sure there's nothing I can do? The longer a shooter waits, the more dangerous he is. It means he's patient. He's got a plan. Please go home. Please go home. Please go home. Who's that? Protection. It's non-lethal. It emits a sonic tone which incapacitates its target. I thought the V's were all about peace. We are. Humans are. granted me the right to protect myself. I could have spotted her shit. <laughs> Is this your mom? Oh. Yeah, it's a old picture. No. <laughs> I'd love to meet her. I don't think that'd be a good idea. Why? My uh, mom doesn't really like these. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's... It's kind of a job not to trust anyone, and she's really good at her job, so. Have you tried talking to her about it? Doesn't really help. I mean, she doesn't even know I'm a peace ambassador. Are you ashamed? Of course not. But now that I'm back in, I'll wear this anywhere. And be proud, too. I just gotta find the right way to tell my mom. I know. I understand. It's 
weird. I mean, I, I just met you, but for some reason, I mean, it feels like I can trust you more than almost anyone. Aren't you telling me about my pregnancy? It's complicated, Val, but I really think you need to talk to Ryan first. No, I'm talking to you. You're my doctor. Okay, let's calm down. This isn't any good for the baby. I'll calm down as soon as somebody starts being honest with me. Okay, but I think that you really need to call Ryan first, though. Forget it. If you're not going to give me the answers I need, I'll get them from somewhere else. <laughs> Look, if he's telling the truth, and the beast forced him to do this, we need to help him, not torture him. He wasn't coerced. You don't know that. He's a trained killer. You saw him with that sniper rifle. His job right now is to get out of here, and he will do anything and say anything to do it. And I know that, because I looked in his eyes. You know what I saw? Myself. Hobbs is right, and he's lying. The people on that hard drive are in danger, and we need to protect them. First thing we need to do... See if his story checks out. Run his print. Find out who he really is. Meanwhile... No one lays a hand on him till I get back. Hey Evans, what's the rush? Uh, shell casing from the crime scene in Queens. Alex Caruso shooting. You told me CSU came up empty. Well, they did. I went back there this morning. Checked it out, got lucky. Whatever prints. You get anything? I'll let you know. All right. Got the prints back on the shell case in Jeffrey Barnes. Rain sniper, two tours in Iraq. Record is completely clear except for a run at the veterans hospital. What was that about? Two years ago, his daughter was involved in a hit and run, paralyzed from the neck down. You got a line on this guy? Not yet. I'll let you know. Please do. Sure. Yeah. I'd like to check on you and the baby. We're about ready to go. God, I used to yearn for that sound. The same baby you loved yesterday, Val, before you knew the truth. Why are you doing this? Giving up your entire life to make sure this pregnancy goes okay? I'm a doctor. Science is my life. But the baby that you have inside of you is a miracle. Ready to go. Gonna be okay.
be a long trip tonight. Why don't you try to rest before you leave? Ryan's a good man, Val. He's not a man. He's one of them. He's a hero. He's one of the few Vs who helped us start the resistance. Then again, he had a strong motivation to save humans. He fell in love with one of us. You. Let me know if I can get you anything, okay? and pastors, Mom. I'm done with Lisa. I'm done with all of this. Sweetheart, I'm so sorry. Are you? Listen, okay? I know that things have been screwed up with us lately. I have had my heart broken before. I know what it feels like. I can't make it any better, but I can tell you, though it sounds a little hollow, that it will get better. You just have to give it a little time. I don't want to give it more time. I want her. Is that for work? Maybe. I don't care. You know what's funny? What? I'm getting away from the V's and all suddenly you're supposed to be protecting them. Yes, it's very funny. Love you. I love you. Evans. Hey, Mom. Ty, something's happened to Lisa. She's been assaulted. What? By who? We don't know yet. She's fine. I just wanted you to know before you saw it on the news. Where is she? She's okay. Don't worry. She's at the healing center. I gotta go, Mom. Ty. Ty. Hello? I need to talk to Alia. Hang up, Ryan. It's not safe. You said this was a safe line. It is, but it won't be if you keep calling it. Can you just put Val on, please? I miss her. I need to talk to her. I'm sorry, Ryan, but I don't think that would be a good idea. Is she okay? Just tell me. She's fine. Everything's fine. We should hang up now. Promise me when the baby comes. You'll let me know. I'll do what I can, Ryan, but I can't make any promises. worried about Ryan. You had trouble? Yeah, he's barely holding it together since Val left. Heartbreak will do that to a man. Or even a visitor, I guess. What do you know about heartbreak, Father? 
I've been in love before. Really? Yeah. Really. I wasn't born with this collar on. What are you writing about? Fear, love, the visitors. I need to reach out to my parishioners, let them know they can make a choice. Did we have a choice? No, we didn't. But I have to show them there is one to make. Pardon the interruption. A toast. To us working together. To the end of the fifth column. To our children. To their future. To us. Wait, wait, guys, stop. This plan, it's crazy, it's just, it's too risky. It is a risk that I have to take, Jack. Look, we got work to do. We lost George. We can't lose you. I don't want to put myself in danger. I don't want to put my son in danger, but I am the only one who can get up there to do this. How can I help? We are at war. We need to recruit an army. You know how to reach people. You said that you want your parishioners to know that there is another choice to make about the visitors. Help them make it. Come on. 